My name is Hans Wilders. I'm medical oncologist at the University Hospitals in Leuven, Belgium. I'm proud to be in Ghent here at the yearly SIOC meeting, the International Society of Geriatric Oncology, that celebrates its 25th anniversary. The topic of the conference this year is bringing research to practice. Because in the last 25 years, a lot of evidence was created to show that geriatric assessment and geriatric interventions bring benefits to patients. But the next challenge is how to bring this into clinical practice. And at the first session this morning at our meeting, um, different care models were presented um, where different centers across the world showed how they implement geriatric assessment and geriatric interventions in their care pathway. You heard different types of models. Um, some centers decide for a co-management model or a comprehensive geriatric assessment model, like in Canada, for instance, in Toronto, where there's a whole structured geriatric oncology unit where patients are referred to and have an in-depth geriatric assessment. There are other models where um, that are broader and can reach more patients with on-site screening and then referral to geriatric oncology departments or geriatric departments on indication, um, like in, in Leuven, for instance. Um, but there are also novel models coming up, hybrid models, taking more benefit of digital tools, of having self-reported digital assessment by patients, integrate these self-assessments in the medical file of patients, and then creating automated pathways to deal with the discovered problems. This is only a process that is ongoing, the implementation of geriatric assessments. Um, we are not there yet. In many oncology centers, there are no good structured pathways to give good care for all the patients with cancer. But this type of meeting in Ghent uh, from SIOC certainly helped to advance the field. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.